Okay, here's a little tour of the uh, 68060 board I've been working on. I did a sneak peek a while ago. But uh, here it is after bring up. Everything's working that's populated so far. And I'll give you a little tour. So the first area here, oh, sorry about the glare, is the uh, power supply. It can run off anything from like uh, 5 volts to probably 15 or so. I have a, a DC entry, reverse polarity protection, and then the 3.3 uh, LDO regulator. Um, star of the show, the 060 here. Does not need the heat sink right now, but it's on there. Um, and then some support circuitry. We have the address buffers um, here and here. And those are the really nice uh, versions. I think they're LVHCR. And they have the uh, built-in series resistors. So uh, that gives you a nice series termination. There's also data bus buffers. And uh, I should call the other things latches. So the address bus is latches. So data bus, 32 bits of data bus as well. We have uh, four... Uh, 4 megabit 3.3 uh, volt EEPROMs over here to hold the boot image, although that is uh, quite a bit of storage, so I can hold a lot more than the boot image. Um, down here we have a megabyte of RAM. This is a nice uh, chip. It does, uh, it'll support burst, although I don't have burst enabled yet. Um, we have the Xilinx, F, or sorry, Xilinx CPLD. And that is a 95-144 uh, series. And that does all the logic for the entire board. Um, right now running the board at just uh, 8 megahertz, hardly anything. But it gives me nice uh, square waves on my oscilloscope. So we'll keep it at that for now. We have an expansion bus that has the full uh, set of control signals, address bus, data bus. It has an expansion there for the I squared C, which I'll talk about. Um, that's the uh, JTAG programming for the CPLD. Reset circuitry, an external uh, header, or header for an external reset button. Uh, Dallas 1233A supervisory circuit, so that stretches the reset pulse and debalances and also does brownout protection. Um, an inverter is always nice to have. I didn't need any of the extra gates for anything, and I had uh, set things up to support uh, a bunch of LEDs to kind of help me during bring up for debugging. So we have indicators for the reset, uh, supervisor, read write, um, if the flash is enabled, and also on the DA, or sorry, on the uh, high bit, most significant bit of the address bus to see if I'm in the first two gigabytes or the second two gigabytes of memory space. Um, other goodies on the board right now, we have a uh, 16C752 dual UART. It's a very common UART, you know, it goes back to the 16540 and probably things before that. So that gives you nice uh, FIFOs for two serial ports. Two serial ports come over here through a MAX uh, 233 chip to get you from the 3.3 volt signaling to the uh, plus and minus 12 volts or whatever uh, for RS-232. And I have two RS-232 ports. And I also have a, um, if you just want TTL levels in the second serial port, right now the console is, uh, all the debugging and everything goes to the first serial port, so that's why that's populated. Uh, what else? Oh, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is get out of the uh, 90s or late 80s and uh, populate some I squared C. So I have an I squared C controller, I have a uh, A to D, which will read the thermistor. Output, output of the uh, 060, so that'll give me uh, the current operating temperature, which is kind of cool. I have a RTC as well, and the crystal for it, and then the battery backup for the RTC. Um, this guy will get soldered on there, and then I even put a header for one of those cheap uh, OLEDs, so uh, I can put some status messages on there. Now that the RS-232 and everything's debugged, um, I can move on to other things like real operating systems or pseudo real operating systems anyway. Um, yeah, so next steps. 
probably a daughter card here. Um, peripherals I want to work on include a bunch of DRAM, probably a, a DIMM, even though I only need 32 bits. Um, some video, um, Ethernet, and other goodness. So that, yes, that is a running 060 board in the year 2019.